Hey guys, my name is Gabe and this is episode 13 to Let's Make Rust. So before we start the video, I just want to say thank you for over a thousand subscribers. Um, it took a while, but we did it and thank you so much. Uh, this means a lot and this is really good for the channel. And <laughs> I hope for thousands more. So yeah, um, in this episode, uh, we're actually going to be implementing uh, a gun into the game. So that's pretty cool. We're going to be implementing our model that we made last episode, and we're also going to be giving it some materials. So, you know, give it some nice look. Kind of nice look. I don't know. It's pretty simple for now, but then again, we're not going to get into some advanced modeling for just a little bit because we want to focus more on the programming uh, because that is far more important than aesthetics. So, yeah, en enjoy the video, and yeah, stay tuned. Alright, so to get started, I actually want to fix up the Glock just a little bit. Uh, we are missing something to it, and that is uh, part of the slide. So I want to just select this part of the Glock, hit I, and just bring it in a little bit. And I'm going to extrude on the Z-axis, uh, not, too, not too high. And then I'm going to select uh, each of these sides, and we're going to scale. So we're going to hit S, and then X. So we're going to scale on the X-axis. And we're going to bring that out just a little bit. And now it has that part of the slime, which is uh, which kind of gives it more depth. Okay, so now we're going to start to give this Glock some material. So I'm thinking we should just take everything and group it together. Hope I'm not missing anything. I'm not. And the last piece should be selected in orange. And that's what everything's going to get grouped to. So once we group everything, we're going to hold control and hit J. So now everything is one object. So if we select A, or if we hit A and select everything, it'll select the entire mesh. So uh, if you still want to select individual parts, such as the slide, uh, you can click a part of the slide, hold control and L, hold control and you uh, hit L, and it'll select all the vertices that are connected to it. Okay, so now we're going to start adding some materials. Um, I'm going to name this first of all Glock, and we're going to go to this um, sort of circle, sphere um, kind of image. And I'm actually going to select a Blender Renderer for now, and I'm going to make this like body, something like that. And we'll give it like a darker color. Okay. Uh, I want this slide to have a different color and this too, so if, I, if we hit Z, uh, click B and hold the middle mouse down and select that, um, we would be deselecting that part that we just made. And I'm going to make a new material and call this slide. And we're going to hit here assign, so now this is a different um, material. Uh, this object is now a different material, so I might give that a darker color, be a little darker. Yeah, that's good. And this I shall call... Alright, so now we're going to select uh, this slide part, uh, this part of the slide, and we're going to make a new material, and I'll call this like, uh, let's see, slide release is that what it's called um chamber perhaps chamber i'll just call it chamber correct me if i'm wrong i probably am wrong and we're just going to assign it to that that color is fine maybe a little brighter no maybe a little darker yeah okay um i think everything else is fine let's look at the reference image try to make the colors look how they have to okay i'm pretty sure also the barrel was supposed to be extruding as well, but that's fine. Uh, we want to keep this kind of simple for now. We don't want to get too advanced in 3D modeling just yet. So yeah, this is what it's gonna. This is what our Glock looks like now. Maybe the body is a little too dark for my liking. You can adjust this in Unity as well. Uh, all three of these materials. Also, uh, the reason we're making these separate materials instead of putting it all into like a UV map is so now in Unity we can actually edit the um, the glossiness, the the roughness, metallic, you know things like that. 
So yeah, we're gonna save that and I'm gonna export that. So export as an FBX. And make sure you have just a mesh selected down here. Uh, everything else, keep it the same. We're gonna go back out of the raw file and I'll just export it glock.fbx. Again, make sure mesh is just selected and export FBX. All right, so now if we go back into Unity, you should see that something is being imported and that is our Glock. So if we go to Models and Glock, um, you can see it is here. So we're gonna go to the rig, make sure animation type is none, and we're gonna uh, uncheck import animation because we don't have any animations. And we're gonna bring this Glock in. We're gonna see how big it is if we need to change its size. Okay, I'm going to reset its position. I just moved it to the player, and I'll put it on the camera as well. Yeah, this clock is way too big. This is bigger than the player. So we're going to go here to the scale factor and change it to like 0 0.4. That might be good. No, let's do like 0. Point. That's too small, I think. Okay, just play around with it. Um, you know, whatever you think is best. I think this is okay. Yeah, this will do. So in the game view, uh, I'll actually uncheck the pause canvas. So we'll disable that. And just for now in the player, uh, in the main camera, I'm also gonna disable the, bl the blur script, excuse me, so that we could see that better. And I'll move the game to the side here so that we get a better view. Okay, so that is also not in the correct position. So we're gonna change the Y to 90. Bring it back, a little up. All right, so that looks good for now. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. We, we can always change that. Uh, we actually are going to be changing that um, in the script because uh, the gun is gonna have like weapon sway and things. So whatever the position is now, it's like a placeholder, think of it. Okay, so the chamber we can make that like not smooth and not metallic. And we are using the standard shader. You can't do this if you're on an older version of Unity, you would be having, you would have this shader, I think, bump the fuse. Um, yeah, so we're using the standard uh, physics based rendering. Okay. Maybe bring the metallic up a little bit and same thing for the body. Well, not the metallic, the smoothness. Maybe, maybe we could bring up. Nah, actually, we'll leave the metal at zero for now. All right, so if we go into Unity, you can see we have now a gun. Uh, it doesn't look so great. It also has shadows, which we'll remove. Um, uh, I mean, it'll do for now. We're going to add weapon sway, and we're going to add arms eventually, so it'll feel more real, if you will. Um, so yeah, let's uncheck, or sorry, uh, stop the game. And the, the values don't really matter. Uh, just you could play around with them, see see how you like it. It's really up to you. Uh, whatever you think looks best. I think this looks all right for right now, at least for me. All right, so we're gonna fix the shadow problem. We're just gonna go to cast shadows here and just click off and make sure you have received shadows on. That, that'll look best. And if we have received shadows on, you're not going to see um, all these light effects on the gun. Alright, so I think now we're going to start a little bit of programming. So we're going to make it so that you can aim down the gun and things like that. So we're going to go into our scripts here, weapons and shooting system, open that up. Alright, so once the script is open, uh, we're going to start adding a variable. So start typing pub. Oops, that's not the right keyboard. Okay, so, oops, excuse me, something strange. Okay, there we go, sorry about that. Um, we're gonna make a public vector three, and I'm gonna call this normal position. And we are now going to also make a vector three aiming position. All right, and so what's gonna happen is basically if we're aiming uh, well, sorry, if we're not aiming, our gun's position is going to be in the normal position. And if we're aiming, we're going to be in the aiming position. 
So I'm also going to make a public bool here. Is aiming is equal to false. Okay. And in our update method, we're going to go down here. Just call this aiming. All right. So if aiming is oops, if is aiming. Okay, I have to stop using the corrections because that's what happens. So if aiming is true, we are going to also have to get our child gun model. So public game object gun model. Or gun child, rather. Weapon child. Yeah, we'll call it weapon child object. Okay, so um, weapon child object that transform dot position is equal to vector three dot lerp, and we're going to lerp its position, transform dot position, uh, to our aiming position, time dot delta time, and we're going to multiply that by a f float here called aim speed. It's equal to two for now. Uh, I'll fix the order of the variables uh, in a minute. It's not important right now. So we'll do aim speed. And yeah, that should be good. And we're going to copy this and do else if is aiming is equal to false. And we're going to do to normal position. Okay. So this might not be so efficient because it's going to be constantly. Um, Oh, also, I did realize we made a mistake. This actually has to be in private void fixed update. Okay, so make sure you have update here with everything else, and you also have fixed up uh, fixed update. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it checks like six exactly sixty times um, a second or a frame, something like that. I'm not I'm not really sure, but it's for physics and things like that, and we're working with a. Uh, linear interpolation, which is the LARP function here, which basically smooths out um, from this position to this position. So right now we're smoothing out our weapon child object's position uh, from its current position, which is this, to the aiming position at this speed. So time dot delta time, and we're going to be multiplying that by our aim speed, which is up here. Okay. So let's see how this works. Um, I'm also thinking we might just want to make a shooting, uh, we might want to make this uh, on a different object as well, so I'm going to probably create empty, and this is already zero, and move the Glock on this object and call this weapons, so it's a little more clean and organized, and we'll uh, get this to work as sort of a weapon manager so we could switch weapons and things in the future using this game object so for now um glock that's fine i'm thinking about actually taking the shooting system and we're going to now have to move it onto the glock yes okay well now because we are moving it onto the glock um this uh weapon child object uh we're gonna actually rename this to weapon object now the reason we're doing this is because in case we have far more complex models in the future and we want to move certain parts uh, of the gun because child and parent systems in the hierarchy can get confusing sometimes, it'll be much easier. So for now we're actually going to drag the Glock itself into weapon object and our normal position is going to be the position that it is right now, so normal position copy this and now we're gonna go into our scene here and we're gonna move the gun uh, well maybe you don't have to go in the scene you could also do it manually like this we're gonna move the gun to um, a sort of aiming uh, position so I think that looks fine so now I'm gonna copy these values okay and then I'm gonna put these back Okay, and now I'm going to hit apply. So if we, oops, we also for, we forgot to do one thing. We forgot to actually uh, hold down a button to to be able to aim. So we're going to do if input.getKey 
key code dot mouse one, which is right click, um, is aiming is equal to true. Else, if not, input dot get key key code dot mouse one. Then is aiming is equal to false, and I put two equal signs. This is not a check. All right. So back in Unity, once the code finishes compiling and we hit play, should be able. To All right. So it looks like we have a problem. We might have to make this our local position. Perhaps. Okay. Yes. Weapon transform dot local position. Transform dot local position to aiming position. Okay, and we're gonna have to do the same thing here. So we're gonna do local position transform dot local position. Okay. So now if we hit play and get in the game, you could see now it's working. We are aiming but at a disgustingly slow speed. This yeah, this is not nice. So um now we're just going to change our aim speed. So I'd say five. I don't know. That might still be too slow. It's better. Uh, I'm thinking maybe eight. Let's try eight. Yeah, eight is fine. That's a good speed. All right. So now we're going to have to change that to eight. Hit apply and save. All right. And so yeah, now now we have a gun that we can actually aim down. This is this gives a little bit more depth to the depth to the game makes it kind of feel more real uh, let's just kill this guy and we get an error that's beautiful let's fix that really quick uh, if is chasing is true okay so we're gonna have to do um, when we die so we're gonna do an update hmm. how does this work again <laughs> If is dead. Do we have an is dead? Is that a thing? I don't even remember. Uh, let's just do if health is greater than uh, zero. So we shouldn't get that error anymore. Hopefully. Let's try it out. Well, he has to be chasing us first. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. We're not getting that problem anymore. Okay, so uh, this is a big step. Uh, this gives the game a better feel. Uh, I know it's not. I know it's like not much right now, but this is a big step to the game. Next episode, uh, we're gonna be working on the shooting system a lot. We're gonna try to perfect it as much as we can. Um, give muzzle flash uh, a nice ammo system. Uh, and also some weapon smoothing for when we move the camera. So yeah, we're going to do those things um, in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and leave a like if you like the video. Alright, have a good one.